welcome to the jungle of Hero Wars. The topic will be dirty. Hey, not the way you think. Especially our hungry Chaba can be really dirty. Some viewers ask for this, so let's try to shed some lights on this topic. Every hero has some stats, and in every game, higher stats are always better. But Hero Wars is different. The energy gaining depends on the percentage amount of the lost life. So a weak hero can be used as ultimate earlier, which can be an advantage. My Chaba has only 288,000 life. A max one has over 600,000. When I get a little hit, I will get much more energy in comparison to a max one. And this allows your Chaba to use his ultimate much earlier. Look how he eats Jorgen and interrupts even his ultimate. That's a really dirty move, if you don't know it. The best is it's pretty easy to get a lower hero. Skip some items, but you should reach orange 4 to hide your weakness. Skip some glyphs, don't upgrade the artifacts and no need for all the skins. Pfft. I was already too fast and have upgraded too much, but I will say something to this later. Let's check out why we should do this. It's especially great for the Tristan Artemis Fafnir combo. This combo is so strong and hard to beat properly. This mystic team is a common and good counter. The defender is maxed. Tristan has the insane ability to gain the same amount of energy like the allies in front of him. The more life Chaba loses, the more energy Tristan will gain. In this case 0.3% 0.2 and so on. So it depends also on Chaba how fast Christian will use his ultimate. Now Luther jumps and Artemis shoots her smart arrow to Lean. That is a great strategy to beat this Artemis team. Lean charms the team and helps to get the maximum out of the gold explosion. It's pretty nice. And here comes our dirty Chaba into play. He helps to destroy this counter. It still works, but not that great like before. So if your enemy uses this offensive team, your chances for a successful defense are higher. Let's watch why. Because of the lower Chaba, Christian gains much more energy too. Now we see more than 1% and those many lower hits are responsible for an earlier ultimate from Tristan. That stuns Ziri right before Lean and the smart arrow goes to Ziri. It destroys the strategy and the fight turns around. Very nice. But there are more ways to use this combo, especially against Luthers. This Jorgen faces combo was very good and a common way to beat Fafnir teams. We have here a nice tactical move and we need Luther for it. Normally he will jump in front of Fafnir. Look at his blue symbol. Because of the distance to Jorgen, the entire team is moving forward. Luther lands behind Fafnir and pushes Fafnir and Artemis into the middle. That is so great because Jorgen reaches now Fafnir too and the redirected damage doesn't load their energy. Very awesome move. If you face now a dirty Chaba line, this tactical move won't work. 
you have still some chances, but it's only because of the time stop advantage. Luther is going to jump, but Tristan's ultimate interrupts him perfectly. Oh yeah. The tactic doesn't work anymore and it would be a lost fight if we wouldn't have this game mode. My Chaba is not the best example, he has too much armor and he dies also very quickly if someone expects this. He is a better Chaba, it's also not that obvious with over 500k power. This Amira line would win, but this damn dirty Chaba. Look at his life bar, over 500,000 life, but Ziri does already over 6000 damage. Tristan gains here over 1% energy too, so Chaba's armor is much lower. And Tristan is able to stun Ziri before Luther stuns Lean. The smart arrow goes to Ziri, a not well timed Ziri ultimate and a very lucky ultimate from Artemis. Ouch. So what is the plan for your dirty Chaba? Don't upgrade the armor and magic defense glyph. You can also skip some expensive items. The artifacts are also important to skip especially his book. You find here his defensive values and we don't want them. His weapon should be maxed. For his ring it depends on your resources. You can upgrade it carefully because we get here health for each strength point. The skins. Physical attack should be maxed. Armor and magic defense should be zero. And now the biggest question. How much life should we have? You saw it worked even with over 500,000. So I would say about 400,000 should be a good value. But I can recommend to start with the lowest life you have and watch if it's good or not. Only if you think, no it's bad because he dies instantly, then make some adjustments and watch again. It's very hard to say this is a perfect point. So have fun in developing your dirty chaba. Peace.